So in this video we will see a little bit more about the bronsted lorry um, acid base in as in we were studying in the previous video. So bronsted lorry acid or proton donor and must have hydrogen ion. Bronsted lorry base must have proton acceptor and they are proton acceptor and must have non-bonding electron pair. So what does means for example non-bonding electron pair is also called lone pair lone pair of electron and lone pair of electron means uh, for an example ammonia have one lone pair of electron and in case of water it have two lone pairs of hydrogen uh, lone pair of electron so these are the lone pair of electron or non bonding pair of electrons so we'll see examples some examples which is the acid or base basically they are talking about bronsted lorry acid and bronsted lorry base so how we can figure it out here you can see ammonium have four hydrogen ion and here ammonia have three hcn do not have any hydrogen hcno cyanide ion do not have any hydrogen and hcn have one so based on this one we can figure it out okay that this is giving one proton to cyanide ion means this is a proton donor this is proton donor h plus donor so this bronze this will behave ammonium ion will behave as a pro bronze and lorry acid and cyanide ion will behave like a bronze red lorry base what about here s2s and ammoni methylamine so s2s will become hs minus means one proton is lost and methylamine will come methyl ammonium <coughs> so what happened here one proton is lost and it goes to here so one proton is here so this will call as a bronze lorry acid and ammonium methylamine will call be as a bronze lorry base what about in the water and NH2 ion so here you can see NH2 is becoming NS3 means it is getting one proton and water H2O is becoming OH minus so basically one proton is transferring from here to here so water it will behave as a bronsted lorry acid and NS2 ion will behave as a bronze red lorry base so water is behaving um, both as a base base and bronze lorry acid both so this is the way we can figure it out how we can find out where is the bronze red lorry acid and bronze red lorry base and next uh, important thing is this what are the conjugate acid base pair so for an example we have seen in the previous slide that uh, ammonium ion is transferring one proton to cyanide ion so this will be behave as a bronze and lorry acid and this will behave as a proton acceptor means bronze and lorry base the opposite of these the other part of this one it will be just opposite ammonium ion is bronze and lorry acid and the other part of this ammonium after removing or after donating the proton whatever the leftover or the product side is called the bronze and lorry base so basically this is called the conjugate base and cyanide ion except one electron proton so this is conjugate acid of this bronze and lorry base so they are opposite of each other ammonium and ammonium ammonia are 
अमोनियम आयन एंड अमोनिया आर कॉल्ड अ कॉन्जुगेट एसिड बेस पेयर एज ए साइनाइड आयन एंड एस सी एन सो बेसिकली दीज टू आर कॉन्जुगेट एसिड बेस पेयर एंड दीज टू आर कॉन्जुगेट एसिड बेस पेयर लेट्स सम मोर एग्जाम्पल टू अंडरस्टैंड कॉन्जुगेट एसिड बेस वॉट इज द डेफिनेशन कॉन्जुगेट एसिड बेस पेयर आर एन एसिड एंड अ बेस ईदर कंपाउंड और आयन That differ only in the presence or absence of proton. So conjugate acid base. What is the difference? Difference is only in the proton. For an example, HNO2 and NO2. So this donated one proton to something, some other species, and whatever the left, it is called conjugate base. so this will behave as a conjugate bronsted lowry acid and this will behave as a bronsted lowry base and both will be called as a conjugate acid base pair am um, um, hydronium ion and water so this will donate one proton to something else some other species and left over is this one so hydronium in is bronsted lowry acid and this will be bronsted lowry base water is moving out his proton or donating his proton to some other species and left over is hydroxyl ion so this will behave as a bronsted lowry acid and this will be bronsted lowry base ammonium ion is donating his proton so that is why because it has four proton and here is three so after donation it will become ns3 so this will become bronsted lowry acid and this will become bronsted lowry base so these are all conjugate acid base pair what is the we can summarize the definition conjugate acid is equal to conjugate base plus hydrogen ion so this is the way we can uh, characterize which one is bronsted lowry acid and bronsted lowry base and how we can find out them another here is some more example what is the conjugate base of the following so following means basically they are behaving as a bronsted lowry acids they are all acids and if they are acid basically they will lose one proton or they will donate the one pro their protons so this will become clo4 minus plus hydrogen ion this will become hso4 minus plus hydrogen ion scl will become cl minus plus hydrogen ion so these are all after left over of one after left over of one proton donor they are all called conjugate base co3 minus minus because it has already minus 1 so after donating one proton it will become co3 carbonate ion this will become oh minus plus hydrogen ion this will become water plus hydrogen ion and this will become ammonia plus hydrogen ion so if you remember the previous slide that says here conjugate acid is equal to conjugate base plus hydrogen ion so same thing is all true for all these these are acids and these are conjugate base plus hydrogen ion and uh, so here these are all conjugate base if we have to make a conjugate base basically we have to remove one proton from the conjugate acids next example is what is the conjugate acid of these so it means these are all bronsted lowry base they are all bronsted lowry base and to find out their conjugate acid we have to 
add one proton because they are proton acceptor proton acceptor proton acceptor right so this will become hcn cyanide ion will become hcn and hydrogen ion will become h3o protonium ion or hydronium ion then this will become h2co3 carbonic acid and sulfate ion will become hso4 minus per sulfate ion so these are the some examples of the acid base bronze lori acid base and uh, their conjugate acid base pairs how we can find out next is a uh, important topic is m4 protic amphiprotic what is the meaning of amphiprotic amphi means both so if you remember that by in the biology we the frogs are amphiphob amphibian right so they can live in the water and land both so amphi means both basically is a substance capable of acting as either an acid or base a capable of gaining or losing a proton are known as amphiprotic so there are some compounds they can behave like uh, acid and base both and that compound is called amphiprotic for an example hco3 this is bicarbonate ion when react with the water it donate its proton to water h plus and it become ammonium ion uh, uh, sorry um hydronium ion and carbonate ion so this is behaving here as a bronsted lori acid and water is behaving like a base bronsted lori base and in the another example if bron bicarbonate ion accept one proton from water then this will become carbonic acid and hydroxyl ion so here water is behaving like a bronsted lori acid and this uh, bicarbonate ion is uh, behaving like a bronsted lori base so here carbonate ion is an amphiprotic substance because it is behaving both this ion is behaving like a bronsted lori lori acid and bronsted lori base so this was about the bronsted lori acid base pair and amphiprotic in the next video we will study about the strength of acid base